In this tutorial, we'll learn how to create a metal chain like this, using rigid body physics in Blender. It will be an interesting exercise, and we'll cover the modeling part as well. So in this default Blender scene, let's first hide the cube and create a simple iron chain. We will start our modeling with a text object. But instead of this default text, here we'll enter number 0. This will create the basic shape of each metal piece in our chain, so let's go to the text tab, and then pick up a better font from here. You can see various fonts that are installed in your system, let's use some common font which is easily available, maybe Calibri Bold which looks perfect. And let's make it a little larger by changing the font size to 2. Once we are happy with the shape, we can convert it into a curve object from here. You can verify that a curve symbol is now visible. Then go to the edit mode, and since we need only the outer line, we'll select all the control points inside this shape, and delete them. Now go back to the object mode, and then go to the curve tab. We'll first change this fill mode to none, then under the geometry section, under the bevel option, we'll change the round value to maybe 0.1. So we'll get a shape like this, suitable for a metal chain, and we can convert it into a mesh object, from here. We can see that a mesh symbol is now visible, let's rename this object, to chain. We can actually create a new collection, called chain or chain collection, so that all our chain pieces can remain together within this collection. And we need to also set the origin to its geometry. We'll then move it to the world origin, by changing these location values to zero. So we are ready with one single piece for our chain. Now we have to duplicate this piece and place it just beside this in a vertical position. So press Shift D on the keyboard, and enter. We have to then move it toward right, leaving some overlap. We can fine-tune this value directly, let's enter 0.7. And also change the Y rotation to 90, so that this second piece is placed vertically. It is important that we keep a gap between these two parts, otherwise it will later create a problem. Now let's select them together, and join them into one single object. And once again, we have to set the origin to geometry. Now, we want to create a series of this link to create a chain. So let's go to the Modifiers tab, and add a modifier called Array Modifier. You have to use either X-Factor or Y-Factor, based on the position of your chain, but it will place them just side by side, whereas we want some amount of overlap between the links. So let's change the Y-Factor to 0.75. You have to ensure that an equal amount of gap is maintained on both the sides, although it need not be perfect. Now let's increase this count to 10, and then apply this modifier. So here is our complete metal chain, and we need to set its origin to its geometry. It will change the location values, let's remove them so that the object is moved to the world origin. Since our chain is ready, let's bring back the cube. Now we'll add rigid body physics, we want the chain to fall down under the gravitation force, and interact with the cube. Since the chain has to fall down, let's move it up by say 2 units. And we'll also move the cube in this direction, maybe by say one unit. As a result, this part of the chain will become heavier when it collides with the cube, and it will fall down like this. But before we add rigid body physics, we need to first break down this chain into individual objects. So let's go to the edit mode, and press A, to select all the vertices. Then go to mesh, under separate option, select separate by loose parts. So we'll see that Blender has created many such individual objects, one for each of these pieces. Then let's go back to the object mode, and while the objects are all selected together, we can set the origin to geometry for all of them, in one go from here. Please remember that this step is important, otherwise the rigid body physics won't work. Now select any one piece, then in the physics tab, enable rigid body physics. It should be an active rigid body and we can reduce its mass to say 0.1. The collision shape has to be mesh type, the physics won't work correctly if something else is selected here. And in this surface response, you can use whatever values you find suitable, we will use 0.25 for both of them. Now select all these pieces together, and make sure that the cube is not in the selection. The first object has to be highlighted in yellow which means it is the active object. Now go to the object menu, and under rigid body, select copy from active. The rigid body settings of this active object, will be copied to all other pieces of the chain, as we can see here. Now select the cube, and enable its rigid body physics. This should be a passive type object. And for the collision shape, we'll select the box option. So our setup is finally complete, and we can look at the real action. 
If we run the simulation, we'll see how beautifully the chain falls on the cube, and then slips down due to gravity. If you are new to Blender's rigid body physics, you can check our foundation level tutorial on rigid bodies, the link is given below in the video description. You can add more force fields in addition to gravity, in order to control the movement of the chain. So I hope you like this tutorial, thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel.